Hi everyone, I'm Marla Miller from MarlaMiller.com presenting our 121st or second Quick Query Critique. Um, the actual number is on the website. I always say I'm going to check before I sit down and do these and, and sometimes I forget. Um, before I get to this query letter though, um, I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for, for joining MarlaMiller.com. And to all of you, I want to give you a heads up that we have reorganized the query letters. Um, so that they're organized in um, according to genres, which is going to make it a lot easier for you guys to go um, either to MarlaMiller.com or my YouTube site and my YouTube page and study the query letters. Um, while each query letter, you know, triggers fresh thought, um, you know, there is an infinite number of uh, feedback responses that you can that you can give to any query letter, and so. You'll probably, over the last two to three years that I've been doing these online, you'll find an awful lot of what I say about other people's query letters really relate to yours. So I would encourage you, uh, regardless of genre that you're in, go to that genre and hang out there. There's at least 10 to 15 query letters um, just about of each genre that are, that are um, on the, on the um, website. And people tell me that they're, you know, they're learning from them, and um, I don't, I don't doubt it uh, because uh, writing a query letter is tough and uh, hopefully Marketing the Muse um, helps that uh, learning curve uh, feel less steep. Okay, so let's go. Um, <clears throat> dear agent, also I'm going to be looking over here sometimes, so if I do it's just because I'm, I'm um, reading off of my big monitor because the words are bigger. Okay, dear agent, Journey to Everything Considered a Love Memoir is about my Afro-Caribbean experience in love, work, and play in the frigid north. Wounded by the vertical of youth and being in full possession of the wisdom of age, I take the reader on a life journey that spanned 40 years. I deal with transitioning from immigrant to immigrant, falling in and out of love four times before I embark on a magical discovery of diamond love, joy, and motherhood, and chronic kidney failure. At 18, I looked good. Sexy body, pretty face, and a daddy's girl. I thought I had love all figured out. I was in a heart-thumping love with a 20-year-old Linus Hysinneth. I loved him more than any other man, loved him more than any other person. At age 22, I traveled from my small island of St. Lucia, uh, Lucia to join my lover in Canada, and it was supposed to be wedded bliss till death do us part. Thick, juicy lips, Linus could not keep a zipper up for too long. Feeling betrayed, broken, and blinded by the light of sheer need, I embarked on the sea of love searching for fulfilling love. Caught in storms of four failed relationships, which produced two sons, Terrence, who was as charming as a sunrise, and Kristen, the sunshiny star. My dream of finding a soulmate seemed to be fading when I'm diagnosed with chronic kidney failure. Just when I thought love took a detour from my shoreline and Cupid threw his arrow into the DMC, love showed up in full bloom at age 58 when I was married, when I married Malcolm, my soulmate a man who occupied a corner piece of my heart for 42 years. Journey to Everything Considered a Love Memoir shimmers with humanity, a, a story of love, grief, and motherhood, which sums up the context of most lives and would appeal to readers of women's fiction, memoir, <clears throat> contemporary romance fiction, chick lit, and people living and looking after someone with chronic kidney failure. Journey to Everything Considered a Love Memoir is complete at 70,000 words, written from the heart. I share an intimate, funny, and sad view of my personal life, love, and joys of motherhood. I want to offer hope to people searching for that one true love, fulfilling love, a soulmate. And yes, soulmates do exist. I also want to offer hope to people suffering with any chronic conditions to break the fence of fear and fly. I'm a member of the Blank Authors Association um, of Blank, have studied with the Institute of Children's Literature, belong to three critique groups, and have done some webinars with Blank. I teach six-week workshops about living healthy with chronic conditions. I currently live in blank and working on a novel. I am seeking representation for your agency, from your agency for my memoir. Why? Thank you very much for your time and consideration. I look forward to hearing from you sincerely. Okay, so what do I think of, I'm trying to get back to my, there I am. Okay, so what do I think of Journey to Everything Considered a Love Memoir? <clears throat> well, it read long to me. Did it read long to you? Um, it actually read long enough for me to check the word count. It's really only about 500 words. Uh, so it really isn't that long, but it read long. And I think the reason why it read long is because uh, this query letter lacks focus. 
uh, I think that that's as, as kind of simply as I can put it. Um, I really don't know what this story is about, and I'm sorry to have to say that. Um, I understand it's a memoir, and I understand that this woman is chronicling 40 years of her life, and I understand in that time that she was um, betrayed, and um, that she um, um, also has had, uh, you know, a chronic illness that's tough. Chronic uh, kidney disease is tough. Um, and uh, that she no longer lives in her native land, but lives up north. Um, and that she also found uh, true love, and, and that she hopes that this book will be inspirational to people looking for true love and also uh, inspirational to people who are dealing with chronic illness. Those are two very different um, um, uh, goals for one book. Um, and it, it doesn't mean that they can't all be part of this memoir because after all, what are memoirs? Memoirs are stories that differ from autobiographies in that um, there is one inciting incident in the memoir that really is transformative in a person's life. And for this woman, I'm not really quite sure what that was. Was it kidney disease? Um, because if it was, then I think that that should always be in the forefront of this um, author's um, writing. Um, if it's uh, that she finally found true love after looking for 40 years, then perhaps that is the transformative uh, information that, that readers would want to know about. At this point, it really is kind of all over the place. Um, Here's here's a problem with writing lyrically because there's a lot of lyrical writing in this in this uh, query letter. Um, she gets our attention because she can spin words, but um, you you I encourage you that when you when you're writing lyrically when you're um, writing uh, pro you know a creative nonfiction which is what a query letter should essentially be. Make sure that the um, the string of words that you put together um, doesn't trump what you're trying to say. And I hope that you understand what I mean by that. Um, it's one thing to show someone that you know how to string some words together or images or make a smile. It's another thing to have that serve the story. Because if it's not serving the story, it's taking us out of the story. Now, it may be entertaining us as it does, but it's still taking us away from this story that we need to be hooked by at the end of 500 words in order for an agent to say, yeah, show me the first, you know, send me the first three pair, the three, um, first three chapters. Or in the case of a memoir, maybe the agent wants a book proposal. Um, so I won't say any more than that because I've already talked enough, but I, I do think that this is an example of a story that lacks a focus, and if it lacks a focus, um, at the end of it, the agent is going, what's this story about? And I'm afraid that that's what I um, was left with um, at the end of reading Journey to Everything Considered a Love Memoir. I hope that this is helpful, and until the next time, be well, keep writing.